Hey everyone, it's Danielle again with Royal Botanical Gardens. I am excited to share one great activity that you guys can do outside, whether it's in your own backyard or in a park. It's an activity that's great for all ages. And it's really a great activity to calm down and relax and appreciate in nature. So what we're gonna be doing today is called a sound map. And a sound map is pretty much what it sounds. We're gonna be recording all the sounds that we hear in nature. So nature is filled with all kinds of wonderful sounds and music. It's great for us. As I said, it's a stress relief. So the really the only thing you need is you need to find a perfect spot. So this is where I encourage you to go and explore in your own backyard, in your neighborhood, go for a walk somewhere, find a comfy spot where you can sit down and then you're going to start creating your sound map. You don't need a lot of resources for this. Some kind of piece of paper or something to write on would be ideal. And then you need something to write with. I like to use markers because it's nice, it's colorful, you can use a pencil, you can use a pen, you can use whatever you want. And there's really no time limit. You can do this for as long as you want. The first thing that I like to do with my sound map on my piece of paper is I like to mark where I am. And typically I like to include myself in the center of the piece of paper. So I'm just going to write an X just on the piece of paper. That's where I am. And this is where you just sit back, relax, open up your ears and listen. And then start creating your sound map. You, some of the things you might want to consider is is the noise really loud? Is it in the distance? Uh, the time of day, the time of year, there's all these things that are gonna kind of influence what your sound map is gonna look like. You can write the names of the things you're hearing, you can draw a picture, you can do sound waves. Really, the limits are endless. You can really get creative with this. So time to start creating. Right now, I can definitely hear that there's quite a few birds in the backyard. Some which appear to be louder, therefore closer. Some that appear to be in a distance. I also just heard a car drive by, so I'm going to include that. Oh, did you guys just hear that bird as well? Sounded like a robin. Draw my robin. Now you don't need to be super artistic. Doesn't matter what your art skills are like to do this. It's really all about just taking it easy, relaxing, enjoying the sounds. And the other thing that I can tell, which I don't know if you can pick up, is I can hear the sound of the wind. You can hear it amongst the leaves and the branches. You can do this for as long or as little as you want. Pretty sure I hear a lawnmower in the distance as well. If you listen really closely, you might even be able to hear some bees buzzing on some flowers. Maybe a fly just flew by. Always a good idea when you're doing your sound map too as well to include the direction where the sound is coming from. Like I mentioned, I put the X on my piece of paper so I can indicate if the sound is coming behind me, if it's coming in front of me on either side.
Just a few more things. I think I also heard a cardinal in the distance. Definitely want to make sure I include that on my sound map. They're so beautiful. I was really excited the first time I saw a cardinal. I grew up in uh, Nova Scotia where we don't have them in Cape Breton. You just hear it? So I got really excited the first time I ever saw a cardinal. All right. You hear that? So, you ready for the big reveal? Like I said, doesn't matter what your artistic skills are, and every sound map is going to look very different. So here's mine. So the blue here, that's all the wind that I can hear that's rustling amongst the leaves and the branches. There's definitely a few pictures of birds. So that beautiful cardinal that I can hear right now that's singing to us. My lawnmower, the car that drove by, some bumblebees and some flowers, or what I think was a bee of some sort. Definitely lots of other birds. I heard a robin. I can hear a whole bunch of other birds. Uh, sounds like a combination of sparrows and maybe some starlings as well. And that is my sound map. Hope you enjoyed this activity. And like I said, head on outside, find your favorite spot. It can even be on a balcony you don't have to go very far and start creating your sound map and compare them to as well so why not do one today and then come back another week from now or do one later or earlier in the day or a different time of year and then compare how your sound maps are going to look different so take care have fun creating your own sound maps don't forget to go check out rbg at home where you can find a whole bunch more resources and interactive videos until next time take care guys